Hey, it's Dave the Butterfly Guy here. I'm on vacation in Florida and I'm in search of monarch butterflies and the host plants that take care of the monarch. So I've come to a sterile park in Benita Bay, which is part of Benita Springs. And I'm at this butterfly garden and I wanna give you a little tour of some of the really cool host plants they have for the monarch butterfly in this butterfly garden. So let's go for a little walk. All right, let's keep walking into the garden here. So I'm already super excited because there's monarchs everywhere flying around in here. I'm trying to catch some of them, but it's just fabulous how many monarchs there are here. I remember a couple of years ago I was in this garden and I found a really unique milkweed that had all kinds of caterpillars, chrysalis, and butterflies hanging out. So that's what I'm in search of today. All right, I found the first host plant I was looking for in this garden. It's a milkweed plant. It's called the giant milkweed. It doesn't look giant. This one's pretty beaten back. It's lost a lot of leaves. But as I look close on this giant milkweed, there's tons of action already with monarch caterpillars. You might be able to see a caterpillar here. I see another caterpillar right here. I see another caterpillar right down in here. I don't know if you can see that one. There's a little tiny one under here. So there's a lot of action. These caterpillars are just chowing on this giant milkweed. But this isn't what I was expecting for a giant milkweed. I want the really big giant milkweed. So I'm going to keep looking. All right, I'm super excited. I found the giant milkweed, the big plant that I've been looking for. Scientific name is Caleoptris gigantia. So uh, the giant milkweed, and sometimes they call it the crown flower. The crown flower because it has the little crowns that you see in Hawaii, the crown flowers that they use for lays. And so this plant isn't native to North America. It's native to tropical Africa, and it's native to Asia, parts of Asia like Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam, Cambodia, India, Thailand, kind of that whole area is where this plant is native to. But you can see it gets huge. It can get up to 15 feet tall and up to 15 feet wide. All right, this plant in Asia, they use for a lot of different things. They use it for some medicinal purposes. I think they have a way of using it for arthritis. They actually use some of the milk you find in milkweed and use it as a poison on arrows. And they also say there's some properties that help keep mosquitoes away. So it's got some really nice um, things about it that is used in Asia. But again, it's not native to North America and it's only survives in zones nine through 11. I mean, it's a hardy plant. It can have sandy soil, it can be fairly wet, it can be in drought, but what it can't stand is freezing temperatures. So that's why zones nine and 11, and really in the US, just the southern part of Florida is probably the only area it's gonna do pretty well in. The rest of the states, you can handle freezing. So one of the reasons this is such a great host plant for the monarch butterfly is how big the leaves get. Like, look at the size of these leaves. It's almost the size of my hand. I mean, it's huge, right? So that's so much food for the caterpillars. It has a little velvety feel to the leaves too, which is kind of unique. But as we look around this plant, there's tons of monarch caterpillars. And you can tell by the frass, like here I see frass on this leaf right here. That's the poop of the caterpillar. And sure enough, right up here is a big, huge monarch caterpillar. So why they call it the crown flower or giant milkweed is because of these flowers are in the shape of a crown. And they come in purple and white as their primary colors. These are purple, so it's really cool. Again, as I mentioned earlier, they use them in Hawaii for their lays. They bloom all year, which is also really cool. You don't really see a lot of butterflies taking advantage of the pollen. You'll see some bees occasionally around them, but uh, mostly the butterflies just like laying eggs and having it as a host plant.
So not only are there caterpillars, the chrysalises are getting built right on the bottom of these giant milkweed plants. So you can see one there. I'm also going to try to see up here. There's one right there that's just getting formed now. They're just shedding. And then next to it is one in a J hook that'll turn into a chrysalis over the next 24 hours. That's fabulous. So the giant milkweed isn't native to North America. So you may have a different opinion or an opinion that you shouldn't bring in plants from other parts of the world into, and introduce them into the United States. And I can see that. There isn't a lot of proof that it's been invasive or taken over areas, but anytime you bring a plant from another country, from a different part of the world into a new spot, there's always risk. So I'd love to have you share your comments on what you think about invasive species or foreign species coming in and introducing them in the United States. I'm mixed about it. I love what it's doing for the monarch population in Florida, but again, you gotta keep a, a really close eye on these type of plants. So I'm super excited. Along with the giant milkweed is all this butterfly weed in this garden. And here's a row of it right here. And as you look in there, there's tons of monarch caterpillars just devouring all these leaves. So I'm going to get right in there and try and get some cool shots of some of those caterpillars. Probably this one garden has got so many caterpillars. I bet we've seen over a hundred caterpillars and they've done such a great job helping out the monarch population. It's just so exciting to be here. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the butterfly garden at a sterile park in Bonita Bay, Bonita Springs, Florida. Just a crazy day. I've never seen so many caterpillars in one spot, and it's all driven by the giant milkweed. So um, you may have different opinions on whether we should bring um, products that aren't native to our country to plant like milkweed for this, but in this case, it does seem to be helping the monarch butterfly. That's all I got. Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out from Florida. Have a great day.